As you may know, the GP market is currently in a state of flux, especially in the mid-range segment. So what's the deal with this new graphics card? Is it worth your hard-earned money? Let's find out. First things first, let's address the elephant in the room. This isn't the RTX 4060 Ti killer that we were all hoping for. But hey, no one is winning here. So let's move on and see what this graphics card has to offer. We'll be comparing the RX 7700 XT to some of its closest competitors, the 4060 Ti, the 3060 Ti, and the 6750 XT. We'll be looking at their performance, features, and price points to help you make an informed decision. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into this review. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Stay tuned. First off, some quick stats. The 7700 XT has a 35% increase in core and team new counts, with the ROP count getting an impressive 50% bump. Memory bus and size? Unchanged, which means it has a memory edge over the 4060 Ti and tops the team new ROP counts much like its 6750 XT sibling. Here's a twist though, boost clocks have decreased by 2%. However, the 7700 XT introduces the RDNA 3 architect. Translation, a refined 5 nanometer compute and 6 nanometer cache process for enhanced performance and efficiency. Memory clock, same as before, because why change what work? On to the pricing. The 7700 XT has about a $100 price gap than the 6750 XT, and is $70 pricier than the 4060 Ti. It's an intriguing value position. Specs look great, but does it hold up in real game? At 1080p, our RX 7700 XT stands out, outpacing the 4060 Ti and even its elder, the 6750 XT. It's reminiscent of a younger sibling, surprisingly outshining the older one. The performance gap narrows, hinting at a potential CPU limit, but in Rainbow Six, the 7700 XT flexes its superiority. A hiccup though appears in Red Dead Redemption 2, where it lags behind both the 6750 XT and even the RX 7600. Maybe it's some driver issue. Summing up performance across the game, the 7700 XT holds a 12% average lead over its predecessor. It trumps the 3060 Ti by 25%, but given the price gap, that's expected. So while the 7700 XT has nowhere that it results, its crown as the best value might be debated. Switching to 1440p rasterization, the 7700 XT initially makes the 6750 XT and 4060 Ti look sluggish inside, yet its performance isn't consistently dominant. In Red Dead Redemption 2, it strangely lags behind the last gen RX 7600, possibly again due to driver issues. Overall at 1440p, the 7700 XT is decent, but given its price, we expected more. Data shows it's 11% ahead of its predecessor and 13% over the 4060 Ti. It does better there against the 4060 Ti than its last gen counterpart, but has some initial competition with its 6750 XT sibling. Against the 3060 Ti, it's ahead by 21%. A bright spot amidst other nuances. Summing up the RX 7700 XT's performance, when it comes to value, it doesn't top it. In fact, it offers less bang for your buck compared to its older counterpart, and even the 3060 Ti and 4060. On the efficiency front, it's a mixed story. While the 4060 Ti outperforms it by 27%, the 7700 XT does edge out its predecessor by a modest 8%. It's not exactly bragworthy. But credit wedge, it surpasses the 3060 Ti by 27% in efficiency. A small win in a mixed performance review. Exploring ray tracing and 1080p. In Cyberpunk, the 4060 Ti shines, taking the lead. The 3060 Ti surpasses it with second place, and the 7700 XT secures third, though it outperforms its predecessor. In Shadow of the Tomb Raider, the 7700 XT briefly takes the spotlight barely leading the 4060 Ti. Its performance boost over its older sibling is commendable. Though. Overall, the 4060 Ti reigns supreme in ray tracing, leading by 2%. However, the 7700 XT surpasses its predecessor by 23%, and even outdoes the 3060 Ti by 20%. While it's not the ray tracing champ, it's no slap, yet its value is still up for the pay, given its price. Jumping into 1440p ray tracing, the 4060 Ti takes the lead again in Cyberpunk 2077, but the 7700 XT is a close second, boasting smoother performance in the most demanding mode. In Shadow of the Tomb Raider, the results shuffle, with the 7700 XT standing out, even as the 6750 XT throws a curveball. With the game's nuanced ray tracing, the 7700 XT outperforms. Summing it up, at 1440p ray tracing, the 7700 the 7700 XT leads by 9% over the 4060, outperforms the 6750 XT by 19%, 
and leaves the 3060 Ti behind by 25%. The 7700 XT clearly means business in 1440p ray tree. The value conversation, however, will be for another time. On the value scale, it struggles, securing the unequivocal second last spot for ray tracing value, with only the RX 7600 behind it. Radeon 7000 series, what's going on? Meanwhile, the 4060 Ti and 3060 Ti are setting new standards for value, outshining the 7700 XT with ease. On the efficiency front, the 4060 Ti reigns supreme, boasting a 41% lead over the RX 7700 XT. Yet the 7700 XT still showcases a 26% efficiency improvement in rasterization and a 17% edge of the 3060 Ti. In conclusion, the 7700 XT had its moments in the ray tracing spotlight, but it'll need some shades because its rivals are blazing. Activating Hyper RX on the RX 7700 XT is like supercharging. With Radeon Super Resolution and fluid motion frames, it boosts 10% in average frames in Forza Horizon 5 over the 6750 XT. Meanwhile, it outpaces the 3060 Ti by 13%, but the 4060 Ti? It narrowly takes the lead by 5% over the 7700 XT. In ray tracing, Nvidia is leagues ahead. The 4060 Ti boosts an impressive 79% lead over the 7700 XT, while the 3060 Ti also edges past by 8%. However, the 7700 XT still outperforms its predecessor by 33%. Note, while fluid motion for frames are impressive, they can introduce less latency and may not be compatible with all games. We're hoping FSR 3 changes the dynamics. Also remember tech upgrades are the cherry on top, not the whole Sunday. Consider game performance and your favorite titles when choosing a GPU. Ultimately, it's about the game. Next, we're diving into the GPU Olympics with some benchmark. In Blender, Nvidia's 4060 Ti with CUDA support leads by 84% over the 7700X, while the 3060 Ti is also ahead by 35%. Still though, the 7700XT improved by 45% compared to its predecessor. In spec view perk, the 7700XT dominates in Maya, SolidWorks and 3DS Mac. It's an element. For video editing and Puget Bench for Premiere Pro, the 6750XT leads the 7700XT by 16% and the 3060Ti by 12%. Yet the 7700XT surpasses the 4060Ti by 12%. In After Effects, the 6750XT narrowly edges out the 7700XT by 6%, while the 3060Ti takes a 4% lead. But the 7700XT shows its prowess, beating the 4060Ti by 22%. All in all, the GPU race proves ever-changing, with leaders switching depending on the task at hand. Let's dive into overclocking, where things heat up. We push the Gigabyte RX 7700XT gaming OC, with a 115% power limit, a core clock of 2800MHz, and a memory at 2500MHz. The payoff? Heaven Benchmark showed a 9% increase in average FPS, and improved the 1% mode. But there's a cap. Power consumption jumped by 21%, and noise levels rose by 16%. It's like boosting the click card, only to have it shout back. Overclocking is a balance. Gains come with trade-off. Alright, let's wrap this up. The 7700XT. Is it the GPU of our dreams? Not quite. But it's certainly not the dud some might have expected. In the arena of raw performance, it shines brightly, often showing its older sibling the door and putting up a fight against the 4060 Ti. Especially in the 1440p ray tracing department, this card isn't just here to play, it's here to leave a mark. However, things aren't all rossy. In terms of value, the 7700 XT struggles to justify its price tag, especially when the likes of the 4060 Ti and 3060 Ti are delivering more bang for your buck. It's a powerhouse in some tests, but it can't quite claim the crown as the ultimate mid-range GPU champion. In the realm of efficiency, the 7700 XT shows improvements over its predecessor, but it can't quite match the prowess of Nvidia's off. And while it's had its victorious moments under the ray tracing sun, it seems the 4060 Ti has found the magic formula to outshine the competition consistently. Now if you're looking for sheer performance, and those lovely 1440p ray trace visuals. The RX 7700 XT will serve you well, but if it's value and efficiency you're after, there might be better options on the horizon. That being said, the 7700 XT is a commendable competitor in the mid-range GPU race, but whether it's the right card for you will ultimately depend on what you prioritize in your gaming experience. So do your homework, check your pockets, and choose wisely. Anyways guys, that's all for today. Make sure to do all the usual stuff, like this video, hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any upload. Also make sure to check out the RTS 4060 Ti review we did. We'll have that up on the screen right now.